really surprised that I was nominated. I was really surprised that this was awarded. It came out of nowhere for me. So that was super exciting. I am very appreciative of the nomination and of the award. It's one of those jobs I think that we don't receive much for thank yous ever. Um, don't really expect it either. You just do the job and the thanks are that the school's still open and running and we're still helping kids and people. Recognition of Cindy's leadership is uh, an important part of kind of her growth, her energy, her unflappable approach to dealing with any hurdles that get in the way. She's flexible. She doesn't say this is my way or the highway. She says, okay, this is what we need. What are the options we have? The amount of time she devotes and her skills she brings to the table, there's not many people I think in Minnesota who could even match what she does. She's always brought the talent in that we needed to get a job done. She's always been open to new ideas and uh, flexible enough mind to really try to make us grow. I think she, Cindy creates a family atmosphere here. Cindy is really an outstanding leader. Um, I have now worked here under her leadership for almost five years. And in that time, I've most been impressed with her compassion. And Cindy has never once tried to squash an idea. She's always supportive, and how can we make this work? Cindy is very fair. She always looks at all sides, and she's very diplomatic. She doesn't get overly emotional about one side versus the other. She's just the best mediator if there are issues with community and school or even when it comes to federal funding. She's the best grant writer ever. I think listening is important. I think viewing people as um, being here to make a difference, to be positive because you believe in the mission and vision and not because of individual gains or just receiving a paycheck. No, that's not why anybody is at Bedote. Everybody is at Bedote um, and sometimes for different reasons. But everybody puts the language first, everybody puts culture first, everybody puts the kids and our families first. And that's what needs to happen. One of the unique things about Pedote is its commitment to language immersion and the revitalization of uh, indigenous languages, uh, specifically Ojibwe and Dakota language. And I think that the leader of the school needs to be someone who is uh, committed to that revitalization and someone who is uh, capable of maintaining that sense of, uh, of culture and heart that's uh, associated with the, with the school at its core. Cindy, I'm so pleased to learn of your uh, nomination and then the award for the Charter Leaders uh, Award, and I'm excited to see what happens next for you. Congratulations, Cindy. Uh, you deserve this award for being a great leader. Gimenoche Gay Cindy, you truly deserve this and I am beyond excited for you. You deserve every great opportunity coming your way. Congratulations Cindy, you have done and always will do an awesome job for the school and you deserve this award and our school deserves this award because of you. And thank you whomever nominated me, the folks that did. You know, I would like to say thank you to Max um, because I think having awards like this out there are really nice and I was very touched to have heard that I was nominated because it's nice to know that somebody actually is grateful and appreciative of something you're doing even though you don't necessarily see it every day.